Ricky came to us scared that his flirting was faltering. So we got him and his crush Lisa together with a psychic. Why don't you give her a reading? Maybe grab her hand. <laughs> we gave him some tips to get him focused. And now, all he's got to do is channel his charm. Sorry to interrupt oh, you. It's okay. I'm going to do your poem reading now. Sick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Now I want. I'll do yours first. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Now you have a relatively long lifeline. Wow. So that's good. You're going to take a detour in your career, but it's mm. going to put you to the top. It's really good. Really? And there's about $1 million here. Awesome. For you. Yeah. That's now I'm going to look at your poem, okay. Lisa. Ooh. You have long hands. I that's do. a long life. <laughs> I see you as a very good mother to children, you know. Okay. And very large home, lots of money. There's a white vehicle in there, too. That's mm. good. Mm. A white vehicle yeah. is a wedding. It could be a white Rolls Royce. That's funny. <laughs> you know, I love that Nikki's working with us to set the mood and help bring them closer together. And there's a lot of silver and gold and minerals around you as well, which means that you may have lived in a foreign land a long time ago, too. <gasps> That's what I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. So there we are, guys. Okay. Wow. I hope you liked your palm reading. I yes. love Thank my you. palm reading. And Thank I'll you very be much. back soon to give you a crystal ball reading. I oh. hope you're excited about this. I am. <laughs> Nikki just gave them a palm reading. Mm -hmm. And Ricky's task is to kind of do a palm reading of his own. Mm-hmm. See so he pulls it off. Yes. This is amazing. I'm finding out, like, that I'm going to be rich. Yeah, me too. I have a million dollars. Look how long this line is. Wow. That's cool. Let me let me, let me me see if I know what she was saying. Oh, look at that. He's got her hand. OK. Let's see what he thinks is in their future. And he can use this to his advantage. Uh, this line here looks like it's actually pointing in this direction to someone close to you <laughs> yes. that you might be very compatible with. Oh. Yeah. Is he a Sagittarius? Uh, he could be. <laughs> <laughs> what would you think if you were if you went out with a Sagittarius? What, what, what would... I remember my very first boyfriend ever was oh, yeah, a Sagittarius. Oh, yeah, that's right, with a Sag. Yeah. Right. So. And we're still, like, best friends. Are you? She just brought up her ex-boyfriend, who's also a Sagittarius like Ricky. Is this a good sign, or is that kind of weird? It's bordering weird. Well, it's a good thing that he's also a Sagittarius. I mean, she likes Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius are good. But it's the ex. But so no. do you mind, then, if you are in a relationship with someone and they are still good friends with their ex? I don't mind it. I don't mind it, as long as it's not like, oh, well, you know what, to be honest, I, I always give the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't have these jealous thoughts. I'm not a jealous guy, right? Okay. So that, that to me is fine with me. Like if you're friends with your ex, you go and do things with your ex. Like it's okay with me. And I'm, I'm really not big enough. She just asked him, is it okay to be in a relationship but still be friends with your ex? How do women really feel about that? Friendly, okay. Friends, it's just, I mean, you broke up for a reason. Exactly. Ricky's doing great, but he needs to veer the conversation away from talk of exes if he wants to make a connection with her. Let's send in the stone. Okay. I got it right here, the sorcerer's stone. <laughs> Have you ever seen a soul stone? No. Yeah. That's beautiful. So we just sent in the soul stone. We kind of want to have an intervention because the date's going really well, but is Ricky going to be able to pull it off? Is he going to have enough mojo to go through it and really say how he feels? Oh, can you guys just excuse me? I got to go to the washroom for a quick sec. OK. Yeah? Coming up, we give Ricky an intervention to make his romantic predictions a reality. Maybe even a kiss in a bar. Maybe even a kiss here. But will he be able to channel his mojo and tell Lisa how he really feels about her? He's doing kind of ice dancing with his hands. Yeah. Like there's always tension right before the moment. You can feel it brewing, like you feel yeah. it bubbling up.